Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Uh, so, there are four queens in reverse. <laughs> an emperor reversed, a morning ex all against an empress. So they're all trying to stop you from achieving your goals, reaching your destiny, uh, causing you mayhem. Trying to get a reaction out of you, trying to stop you, block you, cause conflict and confusion about you. And all of these people have their own reasons for why. Some of them claim it's because of principle. Some of them have secrets to hide. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. The Queen of Pentacles reverse is someone that's trying to replace you once your destiny. Wants something that belongs to you to be given to her, even though she hasn't worked to earn it. Uh, the Queen of Swords reverse is somebody that may have lied on you and said that you were mentally unstable or something like that. Mentally, you know, the R word, uh, unqualified for some something, either an inheritance, a position, some, something, an, a spiritual abundance. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But there's a Queen of Swords reverse that deems someone mentally unstable so that they would not receive something defame you, slander you. The Queen of Pentacles reverse wants to come in and pay you to shut you up so that it does not become public. Um, and that's the whole situation. You got the Queen of Wands that was in competition with you for a masculine you probably don't even know uh, was going all out. This could be someone that was more than likely dating your ex or something um, and wanted them basically to get on the bandwagon to destroy you which he more than likely did with the fact that this morning there's a breakup that i think was d done strategically that this masculine didn't take notice of so it says somebody strategically took on a personality and put herself within his environment in his in his attention or something and he fell for the persona um and then you got a queen of cups reverse that is wanting a masculine to give her an opportunity so even she uh got out slandering you uh manipulating him to see her as an empress so all of these women are doing something for something against you for their own reasons uh they may all know each other they may not know each other i know like I'm going to bet my life on the fact that the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse, they know each other. These two seem to be very familiar with one another. It's like when, I, when I'm reading on them, it's like they work in the same company, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, I feel like it's the one that's the higher up, and the Queen of Swords reverse is the one, is someone that works uh, on a, like, she's high up there, but she's not as high as the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Um, and then you got an Emperor reverse that I believe was hired by the Queen of Pentacles reverse to watch you and cause you blockages, invade your privacy. But there's something he has done where it's become like an obsession for him. Like this man is obsessed with you, stalking you and all kinds of stuff. So just be very cautious of this. Um, like someone, there's something he was supposed to do. Like he was hired to do a job. He was been doing the job, which has to do with blocking you, stopping you, manipulating things in your energy, whether it's your work, your product, your books, or whatever it is you do. He was hired basically to cause you hindrances. This is someone that does like all jobs for this woman. If she needs him to do this, she do he does it. Go there, he goes. Sit down, he sit down. Roll over, he rolls over. Uh, so he was basically hired to cause you mayhem, but then became obsessed with you. So it's like he wants to... Like, like he, I don't even understand this man's mindset, to be honest with you. It's like he's doing something, but there's no logic to what he's doing. It's just there's some type of anger and obsession that has been applied to you that is unjustifiable. Um, but he has developed an obsession with you where he feels entitled to be in your energy. It's like he's desperate to have access to you. It's like he, he may even be doing something illegal behind the scenes just so that he can end up in your energy and this queen of pentacles reverse is on the phone telling him what to do like if they they've more than likely have invaded your privacy so deeply that they know where you live maybe messing with like pipes and things like that for example and she'll be the one to tell him let's say you live in like a condo uh a condo or something she's there telling him like where to go to fuss with 
whatever tools or I don't know what to say, like whatever pipes and stuff, where the pipes are or where the switches are and things like that. So she's telling him what to do because they they want to they want to uh, uh, make you feel uneasy, make you feel uncomfortable, um, disturb your peace. Uh, they don't want you relaxing. If you're somebody that meditates like a lot of light workers tend to do, they don't want you meditating peacefully. So all of these people are doing something for a specific reason and it's all in regards to causing you problems, but you haven't done anything to these people. It's just because somebody wants to keep something hidden some type of injustice hitting and instead of going about it the right way they are instead trying to destroy you from behind the scenes uh, to keep keep something on the hush but it's like the more they do the worse a situation gets uh, there may be something they were trying to this may be something they were trying to hide but it's like it's more than likely out in the public whoever this emperor reverse is may have become so obsessed with you that he may even be in a community let's say you're like a let's do let's use divination okay since i do divination <laughs> let's say you do divination and he's stalking you probably in your phone watching your videos before you even post them because he needs to stay ahead this is what he was hired to do to watch your videos before you post them and he's there playing with the numbers or something right uh he's probably there telling people she's sick he's sick uh, he don't know what he's doing. He's not a he's not a real practitioner. He's not a real high priestess. She's not a real practitioner. She's not a real high priestess. What people need to be asking is, how do you know? Okay, ask him. How do you know she's not real? How do you know he's not real? Let's see what he tells you. It's something like that. So you have those uh those five and then you got the morning ex the ex that wants to reconcile with you but the contract with you and this masculine is over this may be somebody that did something really horrendous like betrayed you heavily not knowing that he was really doing himself a number right and there may be something where you may have told this person they were going to regret what it is they were doing but you know when people are when people have their minds set on doing something, especially when they haven't looked into a situation in its entirety and they jump to some type of conclusion because maybe somebody told them something and they don't do their research to find out the truth, they are very determined to make an example out of you to hurt you and things like that because they're under some type of illusion that you did something to them or they want to make you feel less than or insecure and things like that. But this masculine is finding out. Your ex is finding out the hard way that he did himself an injustice. So he may want to reconnect with you, but you don't want to reconcile with this person. So it's that somebody watching you move on with life. They may have even taken actions to try to destroy you and things like that. Along, along with this uh, emperor reverse that's trying to destroy you. It's like you have so many people trying to destroy you for things that you absolutely did nothing to deserve why right so it's like an injustice it's like people coming together or maybe individually coming after a queen of cups that has done nothing to them but for the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords it's solely because the queen of swords told lies she slander you she defend you and they don't want it to end up as some type of legal case or something like that so they want to come towards you now after they've caused all this destruction in your life they want to come towards you and give you money to shut you up. And it's like, that's not how, that's not how it goes. There could be some type of inheritance as well, like a house or something, because I've been seeing this five of pentacles for a while. There could be like an inheritance these people stole from you. There could be something that's due to you. Uh, maybe it could just be you being paid justly for your work, because there's something where it's like your money has been being tampered with. You've been putting your work in and people are stealing from you. So it could be something like that where you're supposed to get a payout, but the Queen of Pentacles does not want you to get a payout. Especially, as a matter of fact, when people want to come towards you to work with you, give you an offer, she's bribing them behind the scenes so that they don't give you an offer. They don't come even close to you. She may have even tried to get like someone to come towards you to give you a fake love offer, but thankfully this person has... Uh, a woman in their life that they care about that loves him she loves she, that loves him and he loves her excuse me so thank goodness for that so he's not coming towards you to give you any offer uh I, i'm always grateful for the men that are faithful to their wives and wives that are faithful to their husbands or lovers whatever you want to call it but he's not coming towards you because he already has a lover that he admires and he um uh, 
he adores. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, but this woman has been trying to stop you from getting in love, getting in a love connection. It says someone is in like a one-sided competition with you. And this is not even somebody that should be in a competition with you because you and this person are nothing alike. It's that you're spiritual and this person is like a... Outside of divination, outside of spirituality, this is not someone that is into spirituality. And even if they told you the word, it's like... It's like seeing a dolphin walking on land. It just it's it's just not right. Okay, so if somebody came, if this kind of woman came to you and said that she was spiritual, you would probably bombast this side eye her up and down with a, I know you're lying. Okay, something like that. But she's in some type of competition with you, um, to 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 be you, to have what's yours, to be seen as you, your personality, to be likable like you. But she don't got the qualities. Then come on, this is like an illusionist illusionist all she does is come up with ways on how to uh cause illusions about you i don't know why this person has a vendetta against you and i've been picking up on color and hate and things like that but it's because she wants to keep something hushed and you may have other characters too behind the scenes that are coming after you but i picked up on these uh six characters and you need to be very cautious uh they could all be going through some type of power right now yeah they're going through some type of tower and they're very much angry, pissed off. So they may be sending someone to take some type of action against you or block some type of work, some type of genuine work that you do, authentic work that you do. So you got a bunch of haters behind the scenes and they're very desperate to get some type of reaction out of you. Um, but it's crickets, darling. It's crickets. It's like your enemies are desperate for your energy and your attention okay uh so there's something where it's like you've been in maybe like a five of pentacles energy and you've had to find the strength to kind of keep pushing through and i think this is this has to do with like your endurance your perseverance and things like that this is what your ancestors have been advising you to do it's like no matter what's going on we need you to keep calm stay calm keep focused on what it is we're telling you to do and keep pushing through stay disciplined and go for the things Right, go for the things that you want in life, okay? And this may be causing distress to, to somebody. It's like they don't understand how it is that you have nothing, but you're still calm and peaceful. How is it that well, everything you're doing is not bothering you? And you're not giving them a reaction or something. And that's because people like these behind the scenes, there's something about life, no matter how old they are, they will never understand. And that is that peace is within, happiness is within, joy is within. It's not something that's external. Um, these are people that look for validation from outside forces, uh, especially when it comes to materialism and things like that. So they'll never understand how it is that they can take everything from you, but you'll still be happier than they are with all the money in the world. It's called being superficial, basically. Um, so you got people that are angry behind the scenes. Uh, I've been hearing somebody's voice crying, and that is because this person... They are wanting you to live in fear, but they are the ones really living in fear. You found the strength to go through this dark night of the soul. Whether you're alone or with somebody, with friends or family, you're still going through it. You're not complaining. But there's, going to, there's coming a time soon when whoever has been coming after you is going to have to go through the exact same thing that it's been putting you through. The only difference is that you are equipped to make it through this dark night of the soul. Whoever this is, is not equipped to make it through the dark night of the soul. This is someone that's been taking actions to keep what is yours, cause blockages and endings for you. And this is what's happening to them instead, right? So is that energy being returned to them as you are stepping into abundance, they're stepping into poverty because this is how the universe has decided that this situation needs to be balanced out in order for this woman or these people to understand what it is, I said Queen of Pentacles reverse, right? In order for them to understand what it is, uh, what it's like to go through what it is they were putting you through because sometimes it's best to learn things through experience. So this Queen of Pentacles reverse, that the narcissist is going to have to understand what it's like to be you, go through what it is she put you through, not have any type of connection, be out here telling people that, she doesn't want anyone helping you, doesn't want anyone assisting you, and things like that. Maybe she's even planning to come towards you, to confess, to tell you the truth. Now, I don't know what that's going to do because it's not something that's genuine. There's some type of ulterior motive for why she's coming to you. Could be, not could be, is living in a lot of fear, trying to stay calm, but she's in a lot of fear right now. They said, why is this? 
Empress not angry? Why is she not reacting? Why is she not sad? Why is she not calling anybody to ask for help? Blah, 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 blah. And they said, there's something that she's not telling us. There's something that we don't know. It don't got nothing to do with you. But she's planning to come towards you. I don't know, to confess, tell you the truth, ask you for uh, a forgiveness or something. But it's not something genuine. This is someone that's so shallow, so vain. It's that her even apologizing to you is an insult, is a waste of your time. Um, it's an insult to your intelligence because this is for someone thinking that they can pull the wool over your head because that's what they've been able to do to everybody else around them for decades. Um, mislead them, manipulate them. There's an emperor in this woman's energy. She's not able to manipulate She's not able to manipulate him at all. He's caught on to something. Or he's someone that's very intuitive is what I'm picking up on. He's so intuitive. Like, like it's like, you know, like how clowns be in the circus and stuff. Uh, and they're doing all their tricks. And you sit there, you watch it. Like, Yay. She's looking like a clown to this man. Doesn't understand it. Because someone, whoever this woman is trying to manipulate, I don't think she realizes how intelligent he is. Like someone is far beyond her years. Could be a king of pentacles emperor that she's trying to manipulate. It's like trying, you, you know how um, a visionary, visionaries, they see into the future. This is the kind of person this woman is trying to manipulate. So it's like you're making a clown out of yourself trying to manipulate this man. He sees right through you. But this man is so calculative, not in a cunning way. He could be cunning if he needs to be too. But um, he is like so calm and quick witted. Like he just sits back and lets her talk. You know, someone is, uh -huh. he just sit back and let her talk. Um, like he'll let her know that she, he's listening, but he knows really what her intentions are. It's that like he sees the whole situation. This could be a man that's been investigating something and she don't even know. She doesn't know he's been investigating this whole time because there, there are people in life that you don't just go and tell them ABC and then it's ABC. They're going to look into it. So what it is, is that this woman is accustomed to telling people ABC and they jump. And they go with ABC. She's never met somebody who you tell them ABC and they're like, mm, no, 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 no. I think this is EFG. We're going to go with EFG because I don't look into it and it didn't say ABC. She's not used to that. She's used to being able to use her femininity to get her way. It ain't working on her. <laughs> This would be the emperor that has a sweetheart or something. He's a yeah, he's, he's I'm telling you, this man here, whoever she's trying to play games with, very quick with it, very smart, in the upright, and very much disciplined. I'm telling you, he's very disciplined and he's determined to get to you. He's gonna come in and balance something out for you. These kind of character, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, whoever I'm picking up, there's just some type of short circuit going on that they never tend to understand life from other perspectives. They don't understand that like, they don't understand that life for people are different. People see things differently, right? Intelligence is not the same for everybody. So her intelligence may be limited. His is not. In the temperance energy, baby, no, it ain't. It, and the Ace of Swords energy, girl, you're wasting your time. You must have a lot of time to waste. Because for whoever that emperor is, you are lying to, trying to manipulate. You're looking like a circus clown to him. He's like, I know she don't think I'm this dumb. Oh, so this is how she moves. Oh, so she befriends you. Acts like she's all loving, talking about family and friendship and buddy. He said, oh, so that's how she moves. But he's not going to come out and say that he'll just study her. You see, say, oh, okay, I got you. I got your number. I got your number. And then still balance stuff out for whatever situation. Okay? All right. There's something wrong with this woman. There are people who, when they have access to money, they feel invincible. They feel like they can get away with everything. Money, they can just write a check and it solves everything. Yeah, they can just write a check and everything is resolved. They don't have to take accountability. They don't, no one's going to ask them questions. Because what? Money talks to be as well in their, in their, in her world. But apparently here, baby, it's a no-no for you. Okay, you're going to have to take accountability. That queen of swords, you're trying to pay somebody else so that they don't expose something or, or something is, baby, accountability. 
Accountability can even be you are having a meeting with whoever you defame and slander and genuinely apologize, write them a freaking check then, and then move on. But for you to come and say, oh, just give her a check, uh, let her know that, you know, we we just want to keep this between us. No, 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 no. Because you don't know what kind of trouble you cause somebody behind the scenes. No, you know, you just don't care. You are like you like empathy. That's why you're in the reverse as a queen of pentacles. You like empathy. Yeah, absolutely. You like empathy. All you do is manipulate everybody around you. If that person is going to accept money from you, then make sure it's a hefty amount. Don't waste no time. Don't waste their time with nothing. Direct deposit that sucker right to the account. No questions asked. Say, oh, this is our apologies or whatever. I don't know. Like, figure something out and do it the humane way. Not your business transaction that you're used to doing with everybody. There's something, because whatever you, you are doing, you've done it, like, I don't know how many times before. It's like a ritual for you. Oh, they're complaining. Let's write them a check. Oh, they said they're going to do what? Let's write them a check. Oh, they know what happened. Let's write them a check. It's always write them a check. Nah. Coming in with a fake friendship to trap somebody, confuse them. Baby, I'm just saying, like, everybody's different. If you're going to accept money from these people, make sure it's, it's worth your time. Because these are people that... They're used to writing people off. This isn't the first time they've done something like this to somebody. For me, you can't buy me. So, this woman is in fear because a chapter is over. A chapter is over. You're having a fresh start. Mimi, I'm telling you, a fresh start in life. And this is what she's been trying to stop. Making sure nobody helps you, nobody talks to you, nobody, nobody's available to do anything. You don't have any resources, you don't have any friends, you don't have any options, offers, opportunities, nothing. Just be isolated and rejected because that's how she feels about herself. And now she's the one living in fear for doing what? Holding on to what belongs to you or trying to control what belongs to you. And while she's doing it, more and more is coming out about her. Like, what kind of nonsense is this? This is a narcissist. Narcissists don't never see anything from other people's perspective. They're not built that way. They're not built that way. The only way to get a reaction out of a narcissist is one, to shut them out completely, like go core turkey. Or uh, two, hit them in the pockets. This woman, all she cares about is money. So if she loses all the money, you'll get a reaction out of her. You'll get the reaction out of her. If she gets fired, uh, gets excommunicated, <laughs> excommunicato, like John Wick says. If she gets excommunicated from an institution, it'll be a wake-up call from her for her because... Once she gets disowned by that institution, she more than likely won't be able to get a job in her field ever again. This is like blacklisting yourself. Is somebody ruined their life trying to ruin yours? This is like somebody that goes out of her way to blacklist other people. Don't care how it's affecting you, whether you have kids or nothing. She don't care. She will go from business to business. To, she don't care how many businesses she got to go to to have you blacklisted. It's just sad and pathetic. Really, like, just insecure. It's like, I don't even know how men walk around with women like these on their arms. Like, just proudly say, this is my wife. You gotta be just as low vibrational as her to be proud to carry that around as a wife or a girlfriend. So, is that even human? And now she wanna come in to confess the truth, or she may even be confessing the truth. But she's still worried about you and somebody partnering up. You coming out of the core and like somebody, somebody's mental is there's a problem. Like you, you all need to put this woman in some type of psychiatric home or something, facility, something, some type of rehab. Because her mental, there's something wrong with it. She's done everything to one person, take taking everything from them. Okay, because they're starting off at the Five of Pentacles. That means she has stripped somebody of all of their finances and things like that. And I see two people out here, so more than likely, whoever she's doing this to has a family. Okay, and none of that bothers her. She don't care because this is someone that likes empathy. But what she's worried about is this person still being, being able to get in a Ten of Cups. 
being in a relationship, having a loving family, people loving this person, for this person coming out of the cold and being celebrated. That's what she's worried about. Not the harm she did to somebody, but the fact that that person can be happy. The fact that people like that person. The fact that that person is happy and is going to be even more happy in life. That's what she's worried about. Come on. You may even have a queen of swords wanting to reach out to you through a third party to ask you if you and them can work together. You can't work together with these people. There's always some type of ulterior motive. You're not going to be safe around these people ever in your life. If, Let's say, for example, a company wants you to go back to work for them or something. If this woman and her partners in crime so that you'll never be safe in their company so they will have to leave the company in order for you to even step foot in their company it's not safe for you because this is someone that will always be plotting on how to cause you problems because this is not someone that has common sense incapable of rationalizing i don't even i don't even know how someone like this ends up as the leader of a community oh wait hold on she knows how to sell herself her personality. There's still speech. Oh, yeah. Is that Jane has been in the company for uh, 20, 15 to so 20 years. She knows how everything wrong. Let's give it to Jane. Hold on. Jane ain't even for the company. Jane is just there for money. Jane is such a child to us. There's a company. They're big about loyalty. But there's something where it's like the loyalty they have is like blind loyalty. It's that like you have a, 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 a energy in the company that's destroying the company, but they are still there loyal to the person that's destroying the company. How do you have a company of, I don't know how many people this is, but one person is destroying the company and you're still there being loyal to, what kind of loyalty is that? Like, what kind of loyalty? You, I see why she's in the company. Birds of a feather flock together. What kind of loyalty is that? I, loyalty is a big thing, especially for someone like me. Lo, man, loyalty is a big thing, but not blind loyalty. This is blind. I'm telling you, this is blind loyalty because this is someone that's impulsive, reckless. Doesn't think before they, they act. Unless she's desperate, then that's when this comes in. She's like, oh, I should think about this before. But the reason she's doing it is still disingenuous. If someone is never going to learn their lesson until she has to take accountability for what it is she's done. She and that queen of swords. Is that you are trying to put a band-aid over a bullet wound. The heck? What's that supposed to do? Is that we, we will appreciate if, if this stays in this room. For what? You've done this to thousands of other people? You've done this to hundreds of other people? When is it going to stop? No, she needs to go so it can stop happening. H how much money have you all spent on having to shut people up? Think about that. Put put the put the uh, uh, numbers together. That's money that could have gone to other resources in that business. How many times are you going to keep doing that? Every time someone does something, you go and write a check. How many times are you going to write a check? Why are you misusing funds? Why don't do life the right, why don't do things the right way so you don't got to keep paying people off? I heard someone say it's too late to do. It's not too late to do, to do it the right way. Get rid of the nutcases in your company. You won't have to write checks, write people off. Like seriously, sit down, look at all the time you've had to write people off. Add up that amount. Every time she's had to pay someone to go do something malicious, go bully this person, hack into this person's uh, 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 software, do this and do that. It's not free. It's not free. People are signing their name on the dotted line and she's having to pay them. Whether it's 50000 10000 whether it's even 500 Add it up and see how much it is over the years that she's been there and has been doing that. Or even the owner of the company has had to do that on her behalf. Do the calculations. That's money that could have gone to something else. Like it's a waste of finances. 
about to lose everything, but you're out here trying to act like you are. Come on, like energies like these, like they just agitate me. It agitates me. Like what's what's so hard about treating other people with decency? You don't like people stay away from them. You don't like somebody stay away from them. Isn't isn't it that simple? You get on social media, for example, to watch somebody. You don't like what it is they have to say. Click off. It's your phone. Switch the channel. Switch the channel. But why go through all the trouble of paying people to hack somebody's system so you can do something to them or call somebody's boss to get them fired or something? Like, why are you doing all this childish stuff? And then you have employees or friends that are willing to go along with it. Like, that's all I got to do for this? Shoot. Comp like, what's wrong with you people? Don't you see the problem? Because this woman ain't acting alone. It's a whole collaboration. And nobody, it's a whole collaboration. I split the deck on the three of pentacles. Nobody around you all can see that there's a problem with what you're doing. For sure. No. Something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. This is all about money. You're all okay with things being done to people for money until it's being done to you. And then you want people to have empathy for you. You want people to have a, a, a patience. You want people to be understanding. Why? You didn't do that for that other person. Why are you asking for what you can't give? What you refuse to give to somebody else? What is this? Like somebody gets angry because you're a healer. Somebody's angry because you are hopeful. Somebody's angry because people see you as genuine, as authentic, as healing and things like that. Like, what does that got to do with you? It's not, excuse me, it's not that star sees for that you're dark, manipulative and conniving. You choose not to use your intuition and you're about to lose everything. You're sad because somebody is going to be celebrated. They didn't do nothing to, like, why? There's this thing that we humans do. We make a mistake. When the mistake is found out, instead of us just owning up to it, we'll tell another lie to further the mistake. Now you've created a bigger problem for yourself. Because now you got to keep telling lies and lies and lies and lies. And by the time you get to where they're, where, to the end of this, you can't even remember all of the lies you told. Because what? You don't ran out of lies. Now you're, re, you're, you're saying things that don't even make sense. And people are looking at you like, what? That's not what you said the last time I asked you that question. You just own up to it. You lie. It's okay. Lying is part of human nature. Everybody you see around you has told a lie. And if somebody tells you they've never told a lie before, come on. They're telling you a lie just then. Anybody that fixed your mouth to tell you they've never told a lie before in their life is, a, is the biggest liar you've ever come across. Everybody has told a lie, no matter how big or small. You tell me somebody they look good in a dress, you know very well they don't look good in. That's a lie. Somebody asks you how you're doing. I'm okay. That's a lie if you're not doing okay. Everybody has told some type of lie. Okay? Defamation is a different level of lie. So maybe that's why she went to this extent. But at the end of the day, you still got to own up and take accountability for what you did. Come on. It's that simple. You're out here trying to study somebody's personality, copy them, and all of that. To, for what? They're, didn't I tell you all? Paying. This is all this woman does. It's pay. Pay for a promotion. Pay for a, 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 an advance. Pay for this. Pay for this. She's paying somebody. This is all she knows how to do, and that's what I'm telling you. This woman is never going to learn her lesson. She's always going to be this way until she loses something. Loses her finances, her security, her connections to people. She ain't never, because you all have enabled her. You, the owner of the company, you all have enabled this woman to be this way. All she got to do is put out her pen in the checkbook. It disappears. No accountability. I don't know if the owner of a company told a woman that maybe somebody, whoever the star C is, this is our chance to do some do things the right way. No, she wasn't with it. She had a problem with it. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing that, but there's a man in a company 
that told a woman, this is, maybe this person can help us do things the right way. Because they're far, they're so far into something, it's, it don't even make sense. This company may not even last another 10 years. With how far they are into the dark. And you have this woman, don't want to turn a new leaf. She's against change, is what I'm hearing. Things have been the same way it works for her because she refuses to learn anything new. She don't want to improve adapt adaptability is not something that uh, uh that 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 relates or is applicable to her no 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 she don't want to adapt to the new age she wants to keep doing things the old way because she benefits from it nobody else around her benefits from it but she does and that's all that matters you're a narcissist let's say you have a company with like five thousand people so five thousand people five thousand employees will keep suffering because she's comfortable with doing things the old way that's a different level of selfishness She's confessing and she's worried about a company choosing, a people choosing, a family choosing to fix something. Like she's, she's still, and she's like, she's confessing, but the moon to the freaking four of pentacles means she's still doing something malicious behind the scenes. Meaning she's still trying to hold back, hold or keep something from being given to you. She is still paying for someone to hold on to your advancement, to your promotion, to your abundance. She is still doing the same thing. This person is never going to learn. This is a hopeless case. This woman is hopeless. And she's coming out repeatedly in the reeds as the same. Vain. Likes empathy. Greedy. Insecure. Childish. And this is what people have been putting up with. This is your opportunity to do life the right way. Get rid of this woman and build the company back up. As far as the kind of people, the culture you're allowing in your company, this is a company. And with them showing up, showing up in the five of pentacles, meaning they went a whole completely different route than what they were supposed to be. This is a company that's supposed to be there to look out for the community, be charitable. But if something has become all about money. The Five of Pentacles has sometimes to do with uh, uh, organizations that can help, that are able, able to help the community, but they don't want to because they're too greedy. So they hold on to everything. They, they'll only give when they absolutely have to. And when they do, oh my gosh, the whole world is going to know about it. So in order for you all to come out of this Five of Pentacles energy and actually be happy, you're going to have to let this sucker go. It's like this when she and when she came out, like the misery just it said, I'm here. I'm here. And I told you the King of Pentacles, that man knows the truth. He knows the truth. What they're trying to do now, and he better be careful, King of Pentacles. They're trying to pay you, give you some type of promotion so that you can still hush. Don't go towards this star seed. Don't tell them the truth. Don't confess. She's confessed the truth to you, but she don't want you to go and confess the truth to that empress or to that star seed. And you're finding out the truth more, more than likely you're shocked and, and she's worried about you still going to that empress. And the empress knows what's about to happen to you. You're about to trap yourself. There's a king of wands that trapped himself in this situation too. While you're stepping in, someone else just escaped this coven. It's a cult. And that's probably what you don't know. You're about to trap yourself for money. You're about to trap yourself, king of pentacles. You better run, run, run as fast as you can. Something's going to be made look like it's a promotion. They're welcoming you into the family. It's blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. It's a trap trapping you she's confessing to you what it is she did and why they're actually after somebody and now they're about to give you some type of hefty promotion invest in your business apparently and then you'll be trapped you better read the fine print read the fine print <laughs> money should never be the reason why you're doing something if it is you'll never be fulfilled in life you're about to bind yourself and trap yourself in an organization, I'm telling you, yes, run, go, run, 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 move, take charge, and move on with your life. This is what she's worried about. They're worried about you moving on. So they're trying to keep you in there. How much would you like? 
We can give you a promotion. We can give you this. You want a bonus? We can invest in whatever business you have going on. We can help you accelerate. Why didn't they do that before until the truth came out? Why didn't they do that before? Why didn't they invest in you before? Why didn't they give you that promotion before the truth came out about this Queen of Cups? Why? Think about it. Put two and two together. Why didn't they do that? Huh? Why wasn't it available before? Okay. You got to think. Put two and two together. It's like, I've been here for how long? Or I've been communicating with them for how long? Uh, why didn't they give me this investment before? Why all of a sudden she tells me the truth about this situation now she has an offer from me? I told you this woman has been paying people off for years. Probably in the millions by this point. How much she's been. And it may be something that she does so frequently the owner of the company may not even know. <clears throat> that legal issue coming in too. Someone pays people off so frequently I don't think the owner of this company knows how often she does it because she has access more than likely to the the, the, the the business finances. So she just be in there writing checks, writing checks, writing checks. Whatever the reasons are, it's probably not what she's putting on there. Services provided by, what kind of services? She got her own little thing that she puts in there. Just very much conniving. And she, she feels, and this is why I'm saying blind loyalty. The king, the queen of swords reversed, defamed someone, took, took everything from somebody. And instead of then redirecting the queen of swords, right? Talking some sense into her. No, 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 no. They instead are coming in to give you a check. Because that's what accountability is for these people. Exactly. Okay. Empress, you are going to have wish fulfillment. This is what they've been trying to block. They may even be trying to apply pressure now to get a reaction out of you. And whenever in life people try to get a reaction out of you, make you feel uneasy, make you feel afraid or something like that, you should automatically know you've already defeated your enemies. Because that's what they'll do when they don't have any other options. It's that, let's hit them with this, let's hit them with that, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's say this, let's... So we can have them feeling uneasy. But the whole time you're chill. And then she's the one that's living in fear with the moon out there. Trying to figure out how do I go and talk to this, this man and tell him the truth. So that he doesn't go towards this woman. You see him moving fast? Okay. Man, come on. That man knows that like, there ain't nothing you can offer him. Come on. I don't know whose mother or wife this is that wants to come in with an apology or wants to come in with a friendship or something. Maybe you all need help. You should have never partook in something. You got out here destroying people's lives for no reason. Absolutely no reason. Now you want to come in with what? Money? Friendship? It, it, let's, let's flip the roles. If whoever you've been coming after did the same thing to you, and then the truth come out that you were innocent. And they came to you with a check. How would you feel? They came to you to, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you didn't know. That's why you shouldn't have done something. Okay. You got somebody. I don't know if this is somebody's mother or somebody's wife that now sees you as being genuine, being compassionate, being authentic. Whatever this is, being thoughtful and all of that, uh, 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 inspirational. Now they see you as inspirational after they've all taken action to destroy you. It's like, listen, this kind of stuff wears me thin. It wears me out. Oh, what, what, what is this nonsense? What is this? And I still don't feel any sincere like energy from these people. I don't feel any sincere energy. Yeah, they, know, they see you as being sincere. They see you as being authentic, but they're still trying to stop your work. I'm telling you, they're still trying to stop your work and your victory. You're a queen of wands. They're still trying to stop your victories and have you living in distress. But they said whatever they do to cause you distress, you've already mastered yourself and you're protected. They're all watching you, looking you up and things like that. 
trying to figure out, well, who's helping this person? Who's who's doing this? Who's Don't worry about it. Hidden figures. Maybe this person don't even know who's doing what for them. Thank goodness. Okay, thank, we'll thank him, her, whoever it is that's helping this empress from behind the scenes. Because your people are so malicious, it don't even make no sense. I think some of it, some somebody thinks that they can come to you and say, "Well, who's helping you?" And you're gonna be there. Oh, it's Joe Blow that's helping. Like, maybe we don't know. That's how the universe set it up. Maybe they're never gonna meet whoever is helping them. Maybe they will at the right time. It don't matter. Yeah, whoever this is a hermit. We ain't even gonna get into him or her. That's listen, sir, ma'am. Thank you. We're gonna leave you leave you be. They're trying to come towards you to find some type of information so that they can cause you more blockages. That's why I said, like, these kind of apologies are insults because it's not genuine. This empress to the freaking nine of cups just means that there's somebody in, there's a matriarch within this dynamic that sees you as passionate, inspirational, and things like that. But as far as her coming towards you with a sincere apology, baby, don't hold your breath. Starcy, don't hold your breath. Do not hold your breath. Because, honey, you'll be holding it till you turn over in the grave. Next time you blink, <laughs> you'll wake up in the spirit realm. I'm telling you, they're all watching you, looking you up and things like that. And somebody knows now that you're quick witted, you're intelligent. Maybe people told this woman that you were uh incompetent or something they've been trying to keep you from being seen this is what they've all been doing they don't all got together lie on you defame you slander you and then decided oh we've done so much horrendous horrendous things to this one person here we can't afford for this truth to come out so we're going to go ahead and keep this a secret secret okay this secret here we got to make sure it stays kept so we're going to keep this person from being seen this is what they've been doing. So you may have somebody that wants to come towards you now to give you a friendship. And what? To tell you, oh, can we, I was wondering if we can keep this between us. You know, we're so sorry for what, baby, please. Come on. You, you, you know better than that. They're running out of options of people they can send to you. They were going to send a Knight of Cups. He can't come to you. This is him right here. He can't come to you because... You're going to see through this man. It was first somebody that she was sending you. Now it's somebody else sending a Knight of Cups. So you're going to see. It don't matter who they sent. You know why they're coming. It's not accidental. Some of you may even know your twin. Your, your higher level soul miss. Twin flame or whoever you're supposed to be with. So, so it's like them sending somebody in to come and give you an offer. It's just like what the heck are we doing here? What are we doing here? Like you want me to pretend to pretend with you? Like you 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 already like if you're going towards someone that's spiritual, uh, uh, empress? Come on, a star seed? Come on, with the death and the fool? Come on, what are we doing here? And then somebody that was running around. That's not an expert. Part of your practice that you've been doing, they've been destroying, telling people, that's not an expert. They don't know what they're doing. They're stalking you behind the scenes. Say, if that's not an expert, why are you stalking them? Why are you watching them? For entertainment purposes? Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't like the way she talks. I don't like the way he talks. What does that got to do with you? Turn your phone off. Switch the channel. Go watch another YouTuber. Go watch another TikToker. Watch another Instagrammer. What, what, what are you doing? Why is common sense not clicking? You're out here trying to act like you've, you've let go of something, but you're still tampering with people's finances. Like, how vicious do you have to be? Probably walking around talking about, oh, yeah. I support Mary Jean. I am so I I feel so so silly for what I did to her. Whole time she's still doing the same thing behind the scenes, acting like she's your friend or she's now in support of you. She's in, she's celebrating the the work that you do. A whole a uh, a uh, a uh, 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 spiritual hater. This is a spiritual hater. 
Anyone that'll go out of their way to keep somebody from being seen that is spiritual, that's a spiritual hater. But now she's walking around, oh my gosh. Isn't it wonderful what she does? Behind the scenes, still telling that king of wands to keep keep you hitting. We can't afford for this to come out. When we go to them and make them this offer, depending on the choice that they make, we'll let them, we'll, we'll free the, the, uh, their finances up. If they choose the wrong option, then we'll keep it on hold. That's what she's doing. Just sick. And your ancestors are telling you to keep pushing forward confidently. Okay? It'll be balanced out. Really sad. I don't know what has happened to society where people are just so malicious to each other. It's like people don't even think twice about it. Like they'll just get out here and do whatever it is they want to because it's every man for themselves. It's a dog eat dog world because apparently that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know when the system is going to end by everybody being in that mindset, but hey, I guess we'll find out eventually, right? When the whole system, the whole society has been ruined, that's when we'll find out, oh wait, we should have went a different route. Oh my gosh, you're bugging. Are you serious? And this will be people because they're malicious, they're wicked and stuff. They do all these things to you. You don't react. You're not being spiteful. You're not retaliating. They call you the weak one in society. But they say, nah, 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 nah. You choose to pass a curse on to your children. That star seed empress energy decided to cut that, end that curse immediately. So you know what? Go ahead and pop off, Mary Jean. Go ahead and pop off. She said, as for her, it's the end of the curse. She's going to go within, do things differently, take a different route, and be more authentic. We'll learn to come together with people. You can keep being some of mine there. You're about to lose everything. And the thing I love about people like these, not that it's a good thing, is that no matter how many times you tell them to take a different route, try to see things from a higher perspective, they're incapable of doing it. So it's like you're talking, it's going in one ear and out the other ear. For this kind of person, you don't even make it to her ear because she's above you. This is all about status. What's her status? What's his status? I am the COO of whatever company. I am the president of whatever company what is her status what is his status so all you are is your status you don't got no common sense you don't even got the skills to do the job with the status that you're bragging about and you're still okay with that okay these are people that will never understand why you got people that work as janitors uh, uh um dietitians and things like that and they're so happy in life she'll be wondering well they don't make as much money as me why are they so happy because it's not about the money darling you're confused it's not about the money you're confused too about a ten of pentacles two of cups situation it don't belong to you that's why you're confused you were trying to take something you went from trying to hide a secret to taking to wanting to take something from somebody that don't belong to you so it said you got double problems. It said, I got to hide this secret. This queen of swords defamed her, but we got to keep this in this room. We know uh, Berea is not retarded like we said she was. We know she's not incompetent. Heck, that half of us is probably smarter than most of us in this room. But we got to keep it a secret. We're going to keep following this narrative that Maria is incompetent. Okay? Okay. And now I need you all to assist me with something. She's not going to tell you exactly why it is she's needing your assistance. Your assistance is needed to steal something from Maria. But the way this sister here is going to come off and give you that steal speech, it's going to make it seem like she's doing something based off of principle. It is something that is beneficial for everybody in the room everybody in the company baby don't got nothing to do with any of you it's just because miss uh little susie here uh wants what belongs to somebody else okay and that is that the guy's honest truth and she's she's planning on how she can get it she, that, 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 that's what she's planning to say. It don't matter how many times you tell this woman to stop doing something, she's still trying to figure out how to stop something from happening. Maybe trying to stop a queen of a king of cups from having a new beginning. You may want to run, 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 run as fast as you can. Run. 
Exactly. She's defeated. She's defeated. And that she's paying to outdo you, but you're defeating this woman by not participating. Because your ancestors are probably taking care of this situation behind the scenes. Okay? They... You know, like those those children in in society where it's like no matter what you do, how many times you redirect them, you just know they're gonna have to learn something the hard way. And that would be that she's still causing illusion, folks. Still sending some type of, still trying to send some type of communication that's gonna have somebody jammed up, or communication is gonna cause a lot of confusion. Like somebody does not know how to operate any other way, and she's not willing to learn how to operate any other way. This is how she's been her entire life. So it's like, why do I gotta change? These kind of people you get into a company and you start suggesting change, it's a problem. She or he will tell you, oh, we're very open to change around. No, they're not. <laughs> No, they're not. <laughs> if that woman said, listen, I got a system figured out here. I tell these people what to do. Tell them to run their run. Sit down, they sit down, roll over, they roll over. Okay? I don't need you coming in here and messing up my operation. I hear you, sis. I hear you. <laughs> but it's over now. <laughs> it's over. It's over. People are seeing you for who you are. That operation of yours is over. You better be careful. Yeah, they, they don't want this person to meet with you. They don't want somebody to, to have fun memories of you. And this is a king of pentacles. Maybe you work with this king of pentacles. They are trying to give him a promotion so that he can forget about you. It's a hair some money, but we really... I had a dream about this. A queen of pentacles was meeting with a king of pentacles to pay him... So that he wouldn't think about going towards someone. He wouldn't think about somebody in a positive light. It said you probably misunderstood what she said. She was not really saying something nice to you. She was being manipulative. No, 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 no. Whoever that empress was, was genuinely communicating with you. They're paying you or promoting you so that you don't have any good memories of somebody. They're trying to, it's like a MK Ultra thing they're doing to you, basically. This was a minor defeat of her not of you not being not going towards somebody. So maybe she was temporarily able to stop you from going towards someone. It's a minor defeat. So in the end, you're still going to go towards the person. So it's like I don't know if this is something you and this empress does every lifetime where it's like a lot of hocus pocus before you two come together. You going you two going need to Cut that stuff out. Yeah. It's a lot of focus, focus, and then you two come together and build. Cut that stuff out. It's annoying as heck. Cut it out. They said, we need you to forget. Yeah, this is somebody you worked with. You two work together, and they don't want you to think highly of that person. They don't want you to commit to that person. They don't want you to give a position to that person. They don't want you to have anything to do with that person. So they're probably playing with your mind and telling you that somebody is not who you think they are. When in reality, it's a lie. The person that's next to you is the one that's not who they I mean, out here in the reverse and wanting you to see somebody else in the reverse. But you see the empress came out in the upright, right? Okay. It's like, no, 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 no. She's not who you think she is. She's misleading you. All of us can, can be lying to you, can we? It's like, yeah, I think so. I think you're finding out that something was orchestrated. And if she already confessed to you or somebody is about to confess, maybe you'll, you'll, you'll know, you'll know. It's a mind game. Someone is MK altering you very well that you do not see. <laughs> I tell you, this empress is genuine. Oh, come on. This emperor is, empress is genuine as heck. Moving on to karma waters to work together or balance something out with an empress. Other people are moving on. I don't know if this is a mother figure or whoever this is in this community is moving on as well. Like, people are going to start moving on because something is just ridiculous. 
So people didn't understand full heartedly what was really taking place. Maybe now they do. But you still got that's the crazy part. What I'm picking up on it, you still got quite a few people that want to keep going with something. And especially this one, she wants to keep doing something. Sending people in to come and manipulate you. Play mind games with you, confuse you. Mm-hmm. Right here. Page of Wands, communication, confidence, and things like that. They're watching you move confidently in life, still happy, mind still on positive things, and it's confused. They're confused. They don't understand. It's that we've caused all this manipulation. We've caused all this mayhem. How are you still positive? How are you still showing up? And they don't know how people are still seeing you and things like that because they've done something to interfere with your visibility and things like that when it comes to other people. It, it, they don't know how to handle that. What kind of stuff is... Woo! Excuse me. I'm gonna look this on that. Hmm. Yeah. Confident. A minor defeat against a uh, Queen of Wands. So you're the Queen of Wands. She paid, by the way, to have... Like, come on. That's so sad and pathetic. She paid to have... Because I'm telling you, this woman is accustomed to paying for everything. Like, someone does not have skills or talents. Someone doesn't even have, like, basic knowledge. So she has to pay her way to have the advantage in a situation. But she's not able to defeat the Queen of Wands. This is The Queen of Wands is a, a, a warrior. But the way she battles is not typically how people think. A lot of the times, it's just the Queen of Wands standing their ground. So, this Queen of Pentacles Reverse is experiencing some type of loss. It's that she paid to be able to defeat somebody, but she's not able to. It's that she paid to be able to have what belongs to somebody, but she's not able to. This woman could even be pissed off that this King of Pentacles wants to work with you. It said, what is it about her that you want to work with her? We have options here. She may even want this man... To get with her. And he's not interested in her. This is that one of those bosses that'll, that'll flirt with you. In the open. She is like so jealous. What is it about her that, that he likes? I don't see it. Yeah, you don't see it. But he does. <laughs> Obviously he does. <laughs> I don't know what he sees in her. Uh-huh. He, 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 this is what he sees, wish fulfillment. <laughs> oh, let me hurry up and get up out of here before my inner child starts coming out again. But just a hater. So I, I guess I gotta look and be like a star see so he can choose me. Like what? What? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a new direction and be a star seed. Is that, is that how that works? You mean you don't gotta do the work or nothing to be a star seed? You just wake up and voila, you're a star seed. Oh, okay. <laughs> this man may be big on loyalty with that. Yeah, he's big on loyalty with that eight of pentacles. My nah, he's big on loyalty. That man is very intuitively gifted, very disciplined. I, I was picking that up. Someone is very disciplined. So this is not someone you can just come to and say, oh, you know, you just flunk your little behind in front of him and he's going to be like, oh my gosh, I got I to gotta, I gotta find out how that is. I got to try that out. <laughs> no. His brother probably don't even like her touching him. <laughs> he's probably like repulsed. He said, come on, man. How long is she going to hug me? I don't want her hugging me. <laughs> Something like that. Sir, I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> she got the hots for you. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> she got the hots for you. <laughs> be careful, though, sir. There could be some type of plot against you. You need to move on. Move on. There's some type of plot against you. Put you to rest. Put your finances to rest. 
So you could be, yeah, move on. You're going to have a ten of pentacles when you do. So you may be trying to communicate to someone about a, a position, an offer, or something like that. And somebody is angry. Oh, baby, they are angry about this being successful, but it will. Oh, man, it's a whole con. Baby, look, look at Emperor. Emperor putting on his Emperor hat, his Emperor shoes. And his emperor vest and making emperor's decisions out here. <laughs> emperor said you got me fooled up. <laughs> you wanted too many ways. <laughs> you mean I can get with this person and work with them and we can make a ten of man, come on. I'm out. Chuck's those deuces. Surf, run, run, run as fast as you can. Okay. She can't catch you. You're the gingerbread man. <laughs> Oh, man. Collective, you are coming out of the cold, baby. About to be stepping into a ten of pentacles. Though just, it, it's just a beautiful life. And people are so upset, upset that you're going to be having this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, darling. Oh, I know you deserve it. Mm -mm -mm. They're worried about him balancing things out. And he's worried about when he's going to be able to balance things out. Because he just knows it's time. This man said he don't got time to be wasting no more. It said, don't think fun. And I tell you, how they said, don't think fondly of that Queen of Wands. Six of Cups reversed to the Queen of Wands. They said, don't think highly of her. Forget about her, okay? Just move on with your life. You're part of the family now. We wanted to give you this. Oh, yeah, they don't tell him. Like, they're not going to tell the people that it's a, a trap. We want to give you this, or I want to give you this uh, amount, you know, just to express our gratitude. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. Don't take that money. You're going to be binding yourself too hot or ever, as long as you're in that company. And this is not a company I'm picking up on that you can just leave when you want to. Oh, no, you're stuck. There's some type of dealing that goes on within the higher-ups that people don't know about within this company. You better be careful. Your F around and bind yourself to the devil for, listen, devil is right here. Your F around, Mr. King of Pentacles, and bind yourself to the devil for a long time. And baby, can't nobody get you out of that deal. Read the fine prints. Whatever she's giving you, ask her, what is this for? She needs to be straightforward. Don't even let her fool around with you. Ask her, Dr. Man, what is this for? Okay? I ain't sleeping with you. I don't want you. Okay? Listen. I don't know. She, she may have made like an advance on this man, and he's already interested in you. If he ain't going for it, he's like, I already got my eye on the sweetheart. I'm going to the sweetheart. <laughs> Lord, I don't got no sense. That man said he's going to his sweetheart. Whoever your sweetheart is, sir, she looks like she's sitting there ready for you, looking pretty. She's just waiting for you to arrive. Okay. <laughs> Oh, crazy Queen of Pentacles reverse talking about <clears throat> talking her nonsense. That man said, I'm out. Oh, man. Anyways, thank you all for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.